Hey everybody, Thomas here. Today we're going to talk about how to change out these filters on this Ram 2500 with a 6.7 Cummins diesel. This is a 2016 model. Uh, there are other years that this uh, these parts are, you know, will work for, but this is, happens to be a 2016 model. So I'm going to get down and dirty quick and easy. These are the two filters you need. This is the filter for back aft. This is the one that goes uh, in the, underneath the bed of your truck. FF240DL. And it is actually a filter that has, so it looks like a, an oil filter and it has this open portion right here because this will actually have um, some a, a connection that goes to it. There's an electrical connection that goes onto the bottom of the sensor. This is your filter for the inside of the engine bay, FF818DL. Again, this one goes inside the engine bay and goes right here. So you see, kind of like that black canister back there. There's where your cartridge filter goes on the inside. On this one, you uh, unscrew that. It's, it's really easy. You pop the old one out, pop the old O-ring out, and pop the new stuff in there, and then you have to prime the whole system. But we're gonna be replacing both of these today. So the aft filter, where does that go? Because that's what everyone wants to know. Real easy. Go to your passenger side, behind your rear door, just in front of your rear wheel right here. Get underneath, get underneath of here without getting fire ants and everything else on you. Bear with me. And there it is right there. So that filter right there, as you can see, it has that connection on the bottom there. There's the other connection right there. You're gonna have to unplug it here. You'll spin that filter off. You'll take the entire assembly off then you're going to have to spin off that uh, sensor right there. Then you're going to change it out with the new one, put the new sense, or put the old sensor on the new one, screw the whole thing on there, and plug it back in. Again, make sure that you do not lose your, uh, your uh, O-rings that come with it. So, pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and change these out, and I'll show you what it, uh, how to actually do the, the uh, crank-up process, because you'll have to prime the system. Stay tuned. Okay, as you can see, I've taken off this cap here keep all my stuff kind of hand tight and everything. I don't put it on there too terribly hard because eventually I'm gonna take that sucker off. All right, so there's the filter. I'm gonna go ahead and not show that on film because my hands will be absolutely filter, uh, filthy. Excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that out, put the new one in. I'm gonna try to keep all that fuel in there uh, just because it's gonna help on the, you know, the repriming of the system. Okay, so something else I'm gonna talk about. Mine was on there very, very tight, so I used my little handy dandy screwdriver here got up underneath there and just gently you know made it where it popped that seal off so you don't want to press too hard in there because the entire body around that is plastic but i really could not pull it off by hand so yeah make sure you have something if you need to to pry it off just do it gently and try not to uh you know break that casing because that could be a bad day okay so the new filter's in there it did have now here's the old one it's not that bad it did have a different hole on the bottom and I'm like well did I get the right one so then I uh, put it in there and it did seat so definitely seated now we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, lid back on here and again it's just gonna go ahead and tighten that sucker down do it about as tight as I can hand tight nothing really beyond that and we'll move back to the aft filter okay so I'm gonna have to apologize I was pointing to the wrong one the it's this line right here which goes to this right here not this one so the top one this is your one that goes uh, i guess to a fuel sensor of some sort so i can't really do this one-handed but anyways i'm going to disconnect this i really can't press it in right now we'll take this one off and then we're going to screw off this thing we're going to see if a gorilla put that on there i got a feeling it was put on by the biggest gorilla around i got dogs down here too all right from the famous words of Roy D. Mercer. How big a boy are you? That boy was big enough to whoop my ass. I tell you what, so that was on there, some kind of tight. Had to use my trusty, you know, oil filter pliers to get that sucker off. So we've got it now where I should be able to turn it by hand. Oh yeah. Yeah, so, all right. That was put on there by a big old gorilla with the smallest arms imaginable because in order to get that, uh, that little wire off there you have to reach around the exhaust 
and the uh, yeah, draw a blank <laughs> drive shaft. <laughs> Draw the bike. So, yep, got that off. Let's go ahead and swap that out. Well, actually, we'll take this off, and then we'll show the removal of the little sensor there. So, I just used a small pair of pliers uh, to go ahead and open this up. I'm, those are massive. But uh, now we've got it where we can just go ahead and unscrew the sensor. I think this is the sensor that detects whether or not you have water in the system and whatnot. And you can bleed it off every so often, too. Oh, there's a lot of threads on there. Doing all this one handed. So there you go. That just keeps things from rusting. So now I'm going to go ahead and pop this into the new one. I'm going to go ahead and replace the gasket that's right here on the bottom, which I cannot roll up one handed right now. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that, put the new one on there, pop it on the bottom of there. We'll get her back in. Okay, so there's the old one right there. And I know some people are going to freak out when they see what I'm about to show them. We live on a farm. I didn't have any regular diesel. <laughs> so I'm primed with the red stuff. Yes, I'm only priming this, you know, putting fluid in here just so I can, yeah, make the startup sequence easier. I don't run with farm fuel in my truck. But anyways, long story short, we're going to go ahead and get this thing reinstalled back on to the underside of the truck. And then we'll go do the crank up cycle. Okay, one thing forgot to mention. When you're screwing this back on there, there is like a little ball valve at the very top and there's a piece that's in the filter that depresses that you actually have to press up very hard while you're tightening this on there so i got it on there it took me a minute or so because that ball valve is just kind of a pain so now i'm going to go ahead and make that connection back onto there and then we're going to go through the startup sequence okay folks let me go ahead now my steering wheel is in like the absolute worst position so i'm just in the accessories mode right now we're going to go to start but not all the way let that do that for a little bit. And then we're going to do it a second time. We're going to do it a third time. Now let me go ahead and go out here and see if we can actually have it where you can hear it. So this will be for the fourth time. Oh. Mm, I heard something, but I wasn't hearing the actual fuel. So let's see. Okay, the reason you won't hear it is because it's behind me. Aha! So you hear it a little bit there. We're gonna do it, just see if it'll crank. Come on, baby. Ta-da! <laughs> now I can turn my steering wheel. All right, there you have it. Changing out of the filters. And then now I can go into and reset the fuel filter life. Let's see, where am I at? Info, cycle through, oil life, fuel filter life. So I changed it pretty early and everything. Let me go ahead and go through the whole steps of how to actually reset this. Okay, so you want the, it's funny, my neighbor just killed a, a snake down by the river, or by the pond. You want the ignition to be in run. Now we have a reset right here. We're going to go ahead and... Hit this button right here, reset. Oh, sorry, I gotta hold it down. Confirm reset. That's a big yes. And that didn't work, but the guy said that that didn't work. Hold it down to reset. Uh, confirm yes, one, two, three. That didn't work either. Reset. Hold down, yes. Hmm. I'll have to figure that one out. <laughs> okay. So I'm sorry. I was playing with it and I accidentally reset it. Mine. So I had to go to reset. In fact, I'll, I can do it again, but it really doesn't matter. So anyways, you hit the button over, hold it down. It'll say, do you want to reset? 
and you go yes, and then I had to click this button three times really quick, one, two, three, and it reset. One of the other guys said you just had to go and hit yes, and it works. Long story short, it has been reset, so we should be good there. Next, I guess it'd be oil life. <laughs> I need to change my oil, but not quite yet. I'll change that after I get back from my trip. So, hope you found this video enjoyable. Uh, it was the quick and dirty version, but we got her done. She cranked up. Fantastico. Please like, subscribe. We'll see you around. Thanks.